My name is Dr. Bomiade. Um, I'm a pediatric intensivist. I'm actually the um, clinical director for pediatric intensive care services for hospitals for humanity. I'm a pediatrician who specialized in taking care of very sick children in intensive care units. Um, I had just moved back home from the US. I'd lived there for about 10 years and I just made the move back home in um, October of 2014. Um, and I spent a lot of time like just networking in Lagos and introducing myself to people. At some point, um, maybe in December of that year, a surgeon that I, I knew in Lagos called me and said, you know, um, this child had surgery, heart surgery in Abuja and he's been in the ICU for a few days, he had a really complicated course and um, it's just very sick, is this something you can help with? And it was entirely of my alley, like it's, um, it's my work, it's the kind of work that I've been doing in the US all this time. So I was very excited to help. Um, so I got involved with that work and I flew up from Lagos to Abuja to help take care of the child in the ICU in Garki Hospital. And he did well, he went home, and against all odds, he did really well. And that was such a moving moment for me because it, it was just really meaningful work. And when I, that was when I met Hospitals for Humanity and they told me about the cardiac surgeries. That was their first uh, mission at the time. And I was really excited to be a part of it and we've been working together since then. Um, we've done several missions since then and I'm always in the ICU. I grew up in Nigeria, I went to medical school in Lagos, uh, worked in Luth as a, med as a house officer. And it's hard to work in those settings or to train in that setting and not be impressed upon by just how sick children get and how often children die in Nigeria. And I think personally for me, that was a driving inspiration for all the work I did subsequently. It was why I became a pediatrician. It was why I became a pediatric intensivist. It was why I did the work that I was doing in the US. And at some point for me, it just, it became important to follow my inspiration, to follow the reason why I became a pediatric intensivist, which was that I didn't like the fact that Nigerian children died so much. So I came back home, um, and this work, there are no pediatric intensive care units in Nigeria, but to do cardiac surgery, you need an ICU afterwards to take care of, for the children who have surgeries, they need to be in an ICU afterwards. So this seemed like a great place to start building and developing um, pediatric ICU from. Um, and I think it's important, and when I see the work that we have been doing so far and how the facility is improving, the staff is improving, and things are becoming more firmly footed and like built. I'm just really excited about the work. Uh, I want to say our first mission. We had a five month old baby who had a really complex congenital heart defect. And after that was fixed, he bled a lot, uh, which is one of the complications that you can get following heart surgery and he bled for two days, um, nonstop. And in all that time, we, we were given a lot of blood and blood products to replace the bleeding and given all the medicines and, and products that we know to stop bleeding. And he didn't stop for like two days. He was very sick. He needed maximum support on the ventilator and maximum medication support. Um, and eventually he, we gave more things and he eventually this blood bleeding stopped and he got better and he went home subsequent mission he came back to visit with his parents and he looked fine he was a normal playful seven month old child he laughed he, he played with people he seemed appropriate for his age for me, that was such a special moment because it meant that we did the work well, even though it was such a hard work to do at the time, but that we got it right. And being able to do hard work right in a circumstance or in a setting where nothing had existed in that capacity before 
was just so validating for me. It's like one of the things like, this is why I'm doing this, like this is the point. We all, everyone involved in this, wants it to be a full center, a, a fully operational, standing, always there center for kids who need cardiac surgery or cardiac help. It takes a lot of collaboration. The good thing is there's a lot of will on all sides. There's a lot of passion for this project by um, our team, the Hospitals for Humanity team. But there's also like passion and dedication for it from like uh, Nigerian hospitals and doctors. People travel from Josh University to National Hospital Abuja just to be a part of this. National Hospital has spent a lot of money and a lot of time and will to like put this on ground and to keep it going. It's always hard, it's difficult to build anything worthwhile. Um, but the fact that we're all so willing to work hard at it makes me feel that this will happen, like this will become a part of the healthcare landscape in Nigeria.